welcome to Food Tube. I'm Katie Fix and today we are making a cheats bubble and squeak mash that is packed full of flavour with some warm Italian style greens. We have teamed up with the Saucy Fish Co to bring you their brand new frozen range. Now stay with me because frozen fish can actually be a great option for all you busy bees out there. It's quick, it's easy and it can help to minimise food waste too. Frozen just got cooler. So I've got myself two portions of smoked haddock with a handy oven bag that's going to steam it perfectly and prevent it from drying out. And you've also got your sauce here as well. So that is the vintage cheddar and chives. It's gonna go perfectly with our lovely side dishes. Fish is so good for us guys and we should be aiming for roughly two portions a week and no nutrients are lost in the freezing process. I mean, winning, winning. Now that's gonna go into our oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 24 minutes. Right, now let's crack on with my fantastic veg and mash side dish. Mm -hmm. Got two pans on a nice high heat. We want them boiling. And to one pan, we're gonna add in 400 grams of potatoes, which I've peeled. I'm just going to chop up. What's brilliant is that this gorgeous combination of side dishes will be ready by the time your paddock is beeping. Nice and carefully into the water. <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> Those are gonna be on the boil for about six to eight minutes or until you can put a knife through them. And then on the other side, we're gonna do some brussels. So I've got 200 grams of Brussels sprouts here, which I've already peeled out the outer leaves and just nipped off the bottom so they're ready to go. Okay, so once they're in half, we're also gonna pop those in some boiling water. And we're gonna cook those for about four to five minutes. So our bubble and squeak side of things is rocking. Now we're just gonna start prepping our Italian style greens. Now, with this, it's a case of what have you got in your fridge? We're gonna whack that on a nice medium to high heat. Whilst that's heating up, I'm gonna prep my veg. We've got chard here, which I'm just going to whip out the stalks because they're a little bit tougher. And we're just gonna cook those off first. So you're just gonna run your knife down the side and then you've got your leaves and your stalks separate. I've also got a nice cos lettuce. I'm just gonna pull out those leaves. Actually, I'm gonna keep them nice and whole. And then as I say, I'm just gonna pluck off Say half a bunch of basil. So our pan is getting nicely up to temperature. I'm gonna take some olive oil and just add a nice generous glug into the pan. And then we've got one garlic clove. This garlic clove we are going to slice. We are not going to crush it. I want those lovely little slices of garlic to bury themselves in amongst all those greens. Now we are going to add that into the pan. Give it a stir. And into our pan, we're gonna add those charred stalks into the pan. Just gonna get them nicely softened. And they need to cook for about two minutes. Then we're gonna add in our salad leaves. Give them a minute. Then we're gonna add in our herbs and you can take it off the heat and make sure everything's just stirred straight through. So all of your lovely cabbage leaves, charred leaves, everything like that will have wilted down. Your salad leaves have gone that gorgeous vibrant green colour and everything's just looking lovely and soft. So to this, we're now gonna add the juice of half a lemon, give it a stir, and then take that off the heat and pop to one side, just to cool down a bit and let all those lovely zesty flavours come in. And then once that lemon's gone in, just season up with salt and pepper. So my potatoes are lovely and soft, breaking up nicely and my Brussels sprouts are still nice and green. So I'm gonna drain everything off and get it into a big old pan so I can do some mashing. Do a splash of milk. A season of salt and pepper. Sprinkle some pepper. And then do some mashing. Your mash is done, your greens are done. All that's left to do is that gorgeous vintage cheddar and chive sauce before your fish comes out of the oven and we're ready to plate up. Joyous! To heat up the sauce, place the sachet in a pan of simmering water for four minutes. Oh, I'm excited. Plating up time, here we come. All these veggies you get in. Looks wild. Look at that gorgeous flaky fish. That is so tender. The fish is gorgeously smoked and that cheesy sauce is just beautiful alongside that creamy bubble and squeak. And the crunch in the veggies is just absolute perfection. If you want to know more about the frozen range from the Saucy Fish Co, make sure you hit that link in the description box below. Until next time, bye.